Okay, let's get it. So the year is 2024, and I won't lie to you, I'm kinda underwhelmed. I feel like we should be way more technologically advanced than we are right now. You know in the 90s and early 2000s, they had movies, sci-fi movies, that would be set in the future, it would be like New York, 2025, technology integrated into the city, robots have taken over manual labor jobs. We are living in that time now, and the future isn't what it cracked up to be. Do I have any idea on how you advance technology? No, but I do know how to make observations, complain, and make demands. So join me. Whenever people talk about future technology, they mention flying cars. Let me tell you this. The stupidest depictions of the future are the ones with flying cars. I don't know why they're so prevalent in media. It bothers me. You wouldn't catch me dead in a flying car. This isn't Harry Potter. Look, according to Compare the Market, a website that you can use in the UK to get car insurance, in 2022, there were apparently 333,296 road accidents in the UK. Now imagine that many accidents, but in the air. Imagine, let's say you're going about your day. I don't know, you went out for dinner or something, you had a hot date. Then all of a sudden, you're there, standing in front of Jesus Christ as he checks your resume because you was killed by a Toyota Prius that fell out of the sky. That is an unacceptable way to lose your life, I don't care. The amount of infrastructure that you would need to facilitate flying cars would be insane. You'd basically need a city floating above another city. The CO2 emissions would be nasty. Something I can get behind though is self-driving cars which are on the way and that's what I'm talking about that's the stuff that we need because they've been talking about self-driving cars since Top Gear was on TV and I'm talking about the real Top Gear not whatever this is who even are these guys Try bring it. back my goats no but for real who's actually watching that version of Top Gear because nah you guys don't understand this right here was prime TV just the bros dude in fam come back after school the stig what a guy I know we got the grand tour but Top Gear that that right there is the culture this shit means something to me, man. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, self-driving cars actually seem like they're around the corner with Tesla trying to drop their robot taxi thing. But my whole point is, it's 2024. We should have this stuff already. The way that the future was shown to us in pop culture has set the bar way too high. Personally, I'm ready for my own robot butler, which Tesla are apparently working on as well. Who told Elon Musk to lock in like this bro is cooking? One of the main things that disappoints me is what we have, in fact, what we haven't done in space. I love space, the final frontier. We've got James Webb Telescope out there doing its thing, taking really cool pictures. Is there life in the universe outside of humanity? We don't know. Ooh. However, we went to the moon in 1969 and we haven't had a space mission that's captivated the imagination of the world since then. That's what's disappointing. We need to do better. Like, listen, let me cook for a second. If I was in power, if I was in power, I'd pour a significant chunk of a country's GDP into just making cool things happen. We'd have a lunar colony already if I was in charge, I promise. Side note, why don't we have James Webb level technology to map the ocean? Only five to 26% of the ocean has been explored depending where you look. You telling me that we aren't technologically advanced yet to explore the planets that we live on? Talking to me about pictures of black holes billions of light years away, but the ocean is out of reach. Make it make sense. Then again, I do kind of understand why we are ignoring the ocean because deep sea creatures are aliens look at this you're telling me that if you went back far enough you i and this thing would share a common ancestor i don't think so that's otherworldly. Recently though, they have discovered dark oxygen. I'm no expert, but apparently there's evidence of oxygen being produced at the abyssal sea floor. They're calling it dark oxygen because it's being produced without light dependent photosynthesis. The more you know. Atlantis 2030 question mark. Bro, I want an underwater city that's habitable so bad. that will be so cool. Honestly, I feel like we should have one by now. What are the powers that be doing with all this money? Where does it go? What are you funding? Because I want a major discovery or invention to come out every couple years. Speaking of making things habitable why haven't we terraformed mars yet listen i know and understand that terraforming a whole planet is a huge undertaking but that's the future shit that i want i want to live in the future we're just gonna visit mars in 2030 like how have we not bro like we're slacking am i am i tripping or are we not slacking i feel like we should have done so much more by now guess what year the movie i robot was set in 2035, that's basically a decade away. Our robots are nothing like that. Obviously it's science fiction, but science fiction can become science fact. Listen, I'm not saying that I want a killer robot out here beating our asses. I don't need an Ultron, but I would just like a cool robot. Like robots would be cool. I want my own Jarvis, honestly. I really want my own Jarvis. I know ChatGPT is there, which is cool. 
but it's not Jarvis level. Am I asking for a bit too much? Most definitely. But if you went 100 years into the past, I think even they would be disappointed with how we are today. Because they were the ones who were saying flying cars, this, that and the other. Just look, look it up. This is what they thought the future would be like. You know what it is? I've worked out what my issue is. We don't advance technology for the love of the game. We only do it for capitalistic benefit. Like think of a world where we were just innovating just because we could. That would be beautiful. That, that's, that's the world I want to live in. That's why we have a million iPhones. That's why they drop a new iPhone every year. The iPhone is the same phone. They haven't put any love and care into it. They haven't improved it. They're just giving you the same thing over and over again because they can, which means that we don't get innovation. I'm sick of it. Maybe my expectations for how fast or slow we're advancing technologically are warped because we have done some really cool things. Because humanity, when you really think about it, is like that. I don't know how half of the things work. Like everyday things, things I use on a regular basis, the internet, near field communication. I'm gonna upload this video and I have no idea. I don't understand how you're able to watch it. So what we have right now is amazing. But then I also feel like we should be technologically advanced enough to grow back limbs. It's about to be 2025. Why haven't we worked out a way to make a whole new nervous system if somebody needs it? MRIs are cool, but why haven't we worked out a way to remove the ability to develop cancer from our DNA yet? Bro, give me a bag and make me the leader of the World Health Organization. I have some serious plans. Do I have any idea how how medical science works absolutely not but i have gusto believe in me honestly if i'm being really real part of my reason for making this video is probably fomo because shit's about to get really lit in like 300 years and i'm not going to be here to see it because we're most likely in an in-between stage where technology is like about to get really good and where it's like not really good because we were here for the beginning of the internet but we're not going to see like all the all the really good stuff you know all the really good like teleportation imagine living in a world where there's teleportation i'm so i'm so jealous of the people who get to live in the future bro if we have a future because you know nuclear war global warming all that good stuff but if we make it out if we make it through imagine being around when humanity is like traveling through space and shit and discover no that's not fair it's not fair like being able to teleport is something that really really matters to me because i've been on the central line I've been on the central line in the dead of summer and it's not its not humane, it's not for people. People shouldn't have to experience that and I'm, I'm jealous, I'm jealous of the future, that's what it is. So yeah, we're on the cusp of 2025 and the future hasn't arrived just yet, but maybe it will, maybe it won't, maybe we'll die before then, who knows, but anyway, thanks for watching, take care, goodbye and I'll see you next time I upload. Imagine being around when space travel is the norm. People are traveling between planets to go on holiday. They're like, oh, Proxima Centauri is nice at this time of year. We should go. I've seen the Vsauce video of what we will miss. I'm not, I'm not happy.